We all face obstacles and reasons to quit, even with something as mundane as mowing the lawn. But one South Texas man might inspire all of us to do more despite any limitation. We'll let border correspondent Oscar Margain explain. Mowing the lawn under 80 degree December weather would seem like a breeze. Not so fast, you see what may look like a simple chore. The 45 year old Westlaco resident is often seen on his 10 acre property pulling rather than pushing a lawnmower. It's not the usual way to get around a weedy lot, but it's been Renee's only option. I used to have a riding lawnmower and, and it broke down. Unemployed and strapped for cash, Renee resorted to attach a power mower to his power wheelchair. That's when his nephew took this video, later posted on Facebook. I'm trying to make fun of me because a lot of people think that I don't do anything. The video made its rounds on the internet and prompted a San Antonio man to start a GoFundMe account to buy a new mower for Rene. I can't thank these people enough for what they did. Rene says he's never asked strangers for help, even after losing his limbs and suffering severe burns in an apartment fire 22 years ago. I just took it as it happens, you know. That's the way I saw it. Once a local star athlete in the early 90s with dreams of going pro, Rene would find renewed resolve and happiness with his new teammates, his family. God gave me the biggest blessing I could ever ask for, man. The Ayala name is still going on. You know, it doesn't stop with me. Watch the back side. Watch the back side. When not working on his property. Good job, Roy. Rene is volunteering at his children's sports games. You got to press hard, coach. Reminding us all we can do better. Don't stay with that weather. You know, start something and finish it. From the Texas-Mexico border, Oscar Margain, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News. Oh, if, wow. if that doesn't motivate wow. you, I don't know what possibly would. No kidding. God uh, bless him. That's that great stuff.